people and welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is Kiyura and if this is one of the first videos of mine that you're watching please hit the subscribe button down below as well as hit the bell notification so you won't miss out on any of my future videos I post videos on an array of topics every single Saturday and Wednesday for today's topic I thought I should do something that's very common and that is giving freshmen or first year advice for people going into university or college and I think it's quite applicable now because a lot of people, if you are from the Northern Hemisphere, you are starting your university year now in August or September. And next year for people that have already started their school year and since there is COVID, it'll be different when you go back next year and have an actual full year at university instead of being in quarantine and having online schools. Before I start, I think I should tell you guys, I am a second year student at the University of Advertisrand. I study ecology and kind of environmental thinking, it's a BSc, and so my kind of tips are going to follow that of my experience as a science student, but I'm actually pretty sure that most of these tips can apply to any kind of degree or career that you're going into. So for the first tip is something that I think took me the whole of last year to kind of understand and that is to understand that everyone's university or college experience is completely different. I mean for me I stay at home, I don't um, stay in res so I commute there every single day back and forth with one of my friends and so I don't really have um, like a dorm room kind of tip for you guys because obviously I haven't experienced that side but besides that last year two thousand years later last year um, I compared like whatever I was experiencing in college or university to a lot of people that I know and that's because obviously we've grown up with all these um, movies or other people on YouTube showing that, you know, they have like college parties and they don't really show you the side of like the academic side sometimes of university. And so I thought, oh my God, am I like doing this completely wrong? You know, I'm not like really going to parties like every single day and stuff like that. But then again, that's not the kind of person that I am. I really love being around people, but I'm not someone that will like go to the club every single day and like drink so much that like I can't get up the next morning or and stuff like that. Like I'm not really a big alcohol person either. And so for a long time, I was like, am I going to have the college experience or am I just going to be one of those people that are stuck in my room the whole time? And the thing is, there is no such thing as a set college experience. Your experience as a college student kind of really is dependent on what your personality type is. Whether you're an introvert or an extrovert, are you into partying or are you not into partying? Is your priorities more to, you know, make friends and have memories? Or is your experience just to, you know, get your degree and get a career and like get out of there? And for me, I feel it's very, it's a, one of the biggest like, tips that you have to understand is to kind of just let university take its root and the first year is really about trying to find out what do you want to spend your time at university doing. The second thing is that your first year might not always be your best year and for me this is very true because I mean there was other things going on but I really didn't like a majority of the courses that I took in my first year. I took chemistry, which I hadn't ever done before. I took biology, but like half of the semester was on like molecular cell biology. And then the second semester was more on the things that I like, like ecology and kind of learning about the bigger links between um, animals and the environment. I also took mathematics. And the fourth thing that I took was, oh, geography. I enjoyed second semester a lot more because those were kind of the subjects that I wanted and that I enjoyed and kind of where I saw myself, um, what I saw myself doing in the future. And first year, you have to understand that um, it's kind of the foundation for the rest of whatever degree you're doing. So that's why if you are studying a BA, all BA students will kind of have the same subject in the first year. All BSc students will have um, kind of the same subjects 
in the first year as well. The same with any economic degree or business degree, etc., etc. And so it's not necessarily that you're going to enjoy what you're doing in your first year, but I swear I'm now in my second year. Your second, third year, your honors level, your master's, your PhD will really, I think, be where you really start to enjoy what you are learning because it's exactly kind of what you want to go into, where your passion should lie with what you have chosen. Third thing is something that I'm very grateful for, but I think a lot of people underestimate the power of this, and that is to choose your friends extremely, extremely wisely. I am very grateful that I have some of the best people that I know as my friends in university right now. And if I can put it into perspective for you, I came with only, I think, five other people from my high school to my university, whereas the rest of my grade, um, my matric or class of um, grade 12, kind of went to three other universities, which were quite far from WITS. And of those five, only two of them um, were like I was actually close to in high school and I'm still close to them now. But they don't have any um, classes with me. And so I literally had to start from the bottom and kind of introduce myself and get myself out there and kind of, you know, introduce myself to people, which I kind of always am that person to kind of go up to someone and say, hi, my name's Kira, who are you? And introduce myself. But yeah, you have to kind of get out of your shell, make friends. If you don't find that a friendship is working with you, you're not really going to mesh with that person, no one's really going to notice because everyone's kind of at the same boat trying to find their kind of group as well. And going with this whole finding the correct group of friends is having friends that kind of go with what your goals in university are. And my friends... Um, are exactly like me in many ways you know we are very goal orientated we know what we want to um, kind of get out of the degree we know how far we want to go with the degree but also we know very well you know like oh when to hang out when to study with each other when to give tips with each other when to help each other out with anything that we need and a lot of times people find um, friends that you know are the outgoing types or that like you know will introduce you to everyone but then you could be someone that really wants to do well in university whereas that person's priorities might not be the same as yours so finding friends that are reliable and that kind of go with what you want out of university really really does help. Number four kind of goes with um, tip one and was it three? Yeah, three, talking about friends. And that is to have a very big balance. I went into university thinking like, I'm just going to have to be studious all the time. This degree is going to be so taxing, which it is. But I found that when I did perform better at exams or tests was when I went out with my friends or we had a break or we went to go watch a movie or we went for dinner or when I went to their houses and we'd study together and then like watch movies afterwards. And having a big balance really does again help to just calm you down and not make you feel like you're studying all the time. And yeah, just having a balance in between your work and your social life is a very big thing. Number four is to always, always, always ask questions. I am definitely that girl that asks like 50,000 questions when I don't understand something. But, um, and I know sometimes that does seem scary, especially when you're in like a lecture hall with like a thousand other people, or at least that's how big my classes were in my first year. But you have to understand that whatever you are studying towards, it's not like high school where you're just trying to finish high school. University is where you are trying to kind of uh, get into the career and get the knowledge that you need to go into whatever career or future that you want. And so making sure that you understand kind of every single topic, um, even if it's something that you think is so-called dumb, I don't think that there's any dumb questions, but we are humans at the end of the day and we over literally, yeah, overly criticize each other about, you know, uh, what we are asking. But always just ask your questions. Your lecturers are there to help you, as are your teaching assistants or your um, senior advisors. Book consultations with your lecturers after time if you're not comfortable asking in your class. And again, having friends that kind of are also concentrated in the class and um, that are reliable. Also ask them if you don't understand anything. 
or something, not anything, but if you don't understand something. Number seven is something that I literally did not believe when anyone would tell me this because I've always kind of kept my marks consistent from primary school to high school. So I was like, it'll probably stay the same in university. And that is not the case at all because the testing system of university is completely different to that of university. University. university show tries to make you understand things and test how you apply the concepts that they teach you whereas school kind of just wants you to regurgitate the information as best as you can and a lot of people make this mistake and i did too i thought i was just going to go in and my marks were going to take like it was going to be the complete same you know i was still going to get the marks that i was getting but my marks did drop quite uh, a lot from high school to my first semester of university because again I underestimated how they tested. Secondly, um, the way you take notes in university is very important because remember in high school or your community like high school or whatever they kind of either just gave you like a textbook and you just had to learn out of the textbook. You didn't have to really, or you had to just listen to what the teacher was saying. The two were never really put together where you had to pay attention to the textbook and to slides and to what um, they were handing out as well as to what the teacher or the lecturer was saying. Whereas in university, you kind of have to make use of all your senses to get every single bit of information that you can. And I actually am going to be making a how I make my notes video in the next one or two weeks to actually show you how I do this. But yeah, expect your marks to drop a bit and to not put so much of pressure on yourself in your first semester either because it's a new, it's like a new setting, new way of learning, a new environment, new people. So it's kind of a shock to your body to kind of take in everything. So if your marks do drop, it's okay. You will eventually get in your groove. I only got into my groove like July or August and that was like nearly six months after being um, already in university. So don't stress if your marks um, do drop, but do expect if it does happen. The last tip I think is one of the most important that I probably can give. I feel like all of them are quite um, important, but that is to stay on top of your assignments and your studying. Oh, I like even thinking about like about how I was at the beginning of last year actually like kind of makes me scared <laughs> because um, your lecturers do not consult with each other. And in high school, a lot of times, like, you know, teachers would sit in the teacher's lounge or they would set up the syllabus and kind of see, okay, um, you're writing this test then, okay, I'll put my subject for this day and, okay, I'll do it the next week so that it doesn't clash. In university, they don't care. They don't care at all. It's all up to you to stay on top of things and to be prepared to write or submit things all on the same day because none of your lecturers kind of um, consolidate with each other. Like sometimes your lecturers are nice and they say, you know what, tell me if there is a, a, conf a conflict. But otherwise, you have to stay on top of things yourself and make sure that you don't leave things until the last minute because eventually things will pile up on you and you'll have like five assignments due on one day. And going with this as well is to make sure that after you take your notes um, from like your lecture, if you have a free time, like free breaks in between each lesson or between like two lessons, you have an hour break, go and sit with yourself or like if your friends really want to and go and summarize that information so that when it comes to your exam and you have like 30 chapters to go over, you can just go over your small summary and rejuvenate your, your memory rather than going back to the first chapter and having to restart learning all that information again. And again, with the free time, make use of it. Do your assignments in it so that when you come home, because your days are much longer. For me, my days are from 8 until 5 on most days. Um, and it's a hour drive kind of back with traffic. So only get home at like 6, half past 6. And obviously at that time, I really don't feel like sitting still for another 3 or 4 hours. So rather stay on top of things. Make sure that you make use of your free time. 
and rather finish whatever you have at university so that when you come home you can actually relax and spend time with your family. So that is the end of my video. I really really hope that these tips do help you in some way. I really wish that someone had made a video like this and kind of said everything that I said now because obviously I had to learn that by myself which is completely fine because obviously now I'm like so used to it but I really wanted to share you with you guys whatever I had experienced last year and kind of um, let you know kind of what's coming how to kind of deal with anything that comes with university. I really hope that you guys have a fantastic week ahead filled with lots of love, happiness, light, positivity and preparation for freshman year. Love you guys a lot. Bye!